Okay, so we'll uh, call the Board of Health meeting uh, to order. And uh, the second, uh, has anybody reviewed the previous minutes? Yes. We have a motion to approve. Motion to approve. All in favor? All in favor. Good. Okay. Uh, choose chairperson. Oh, yes. We have to do that just sort of officially, I guess, this, term. this round. Anybody running for the position? Not me. No, I, I can't. <laughs> no, no, no. Somebody want to nominate no. someone? Is that how we do this? Uh, I, I, yeah, I just. Um... I, I think you can you can leave it the same, but again, it's up to three of you if you want to reshuffle the deck. I know. Again, the select board. You guys did a couple of weeks ago. You reshuffled the deck. I'm fine bit. to leave it the same, but if there's anybody, who... I am fine to leave it the same. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. It's good. Whatever. It's okay. So I'd do we have to officially uh, so I'd like to make a motion to, that um, Dr. Mosler is the chairperson for the next year's term. All those in favor? Aye. Okay. Okay. Which you ran this year? I'm sorry? Which you did you get re re-signed in at the town clerk's no. office? You need to do that. Okay, tomorrow. I'll do that tomorrow. Okay, we have here update from Jane on liaison to select board. <laughs> You're it. I'm it. Good. Okay. I am your liaison. Okay. It was difficult. And there's a slight interesting piece of that. I am the committee liaison, but in town hall, you have David as your liaison because he's got the whole clump of town hall as his domain. Now, is, does Molly also share in that? Or did I? Molly shares I in the financial it? end of that. Okay. So, they so like the climate change, change, park and recs, conservation, yeah. Florida health. So what does that mean? Nothing. Okay. So do I, would I, as a employee, one of us. Got it. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay. Update from the health inspector. All right. So um, uh, the big one is the uh, working to get tapestry into the, into the town. Uh, tapestry. I, I don't know if you guys uh, how how much all of you are up, uh, up to date on it, but uh, Craig's Doors had uh, reached out to me a little while ago uh, and would like to get a needle exchange program going. Yeah, that's cool. uh, why not? And so you, you know they reached out to me, but and Tapestry is a partner with them. Which you probably know all about it. Um, but uh, they have to get that. Uh, uh, approved the board of health has to basically welcome them in yeah uh, and so let me just pass out these they, they sent this to us as the tapestry did um as kind of like an intro here's what we'd like to do yep. uh board of health i got a copy of it over there yeah we would come and present and then we take a vote um so in addition to needle exchange, there's other services that they provide that um, are life safety, basic medical, that type of stuff. Um, and so I, I, what I wanted to have for, for this meeting was uh, have had a, a meeting with um, people in town because this would be funded by the uh, opioid. Uh, uh, what's, the, uh, what's the full opioid yeah. uh, relief funds, I believe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, uh, and the town does have those funds. However, there is uh, other legitimate uses of those funds, uh, and and there are some people that have uh, requested to use them. And so, uh, what I had wanted to do was get um, uh, everybody together that would need to basically uh, plan on how it's going to be used and what health needs of it, and so on and so forth. But unfortunately, though I did reach out <clears throat> a few times about it, that meeting was not able to be scheduled since the last um, uh, board health meeting. And so I, I I wish I had more of an update for it, but uh, basically all I can say is that meeting is still pending. Once that meeting happens, then I'll be able to say that we can fund Tapestry to do the work that they need to do. But you, know, you can't vote on it right now unless we know we can do it. And so by passing this out, I would have emailed it earlier if I knew the meeting was done. <clears throat> but by passing it out, you'll, have, you'll fully know what it is they want to do in town 
And hopefully by the next meeting, okay. we will have that that other meeting uh, con concluded and, and you'll have a full idea of how it all would work. Um, okay. I'm wondering if this needs to go to the select board but since they are actually the ones who oversee the FDA fund. That's part of what I would want to have that meeting about, like how the mm -hmm. funds would so, go about. The select board is next meeting on the 26th. Okay. So we you get on the agenda just to talk about it, if nothing else. Yeah. Do you know how much they're looking for? I need to know whether I need to know what is available. They said that they they can they can possibly fill in some gaps, but I kind of need to know what we're working with first. Well, so I know that other people. One of the um, options for using opioid money is for housing. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the town is really looking hard to figure out how to get some housing. for what housing. Oh, okay. Uh, another use would be police have mm -hmm. uses for it. Police so, fire. Yep. So but only in relation, there are sometimes we're not using it related to opioid mm -hmm. issues. The select board, at least this part of the select board, I can only speak for myself, feels really strongly it needs to be used for what it was designated for. Mm -hmm. This one I think would be very close to that mm -hmm. okay. use. Liz Lina is, is wonderful. She runs a great program. Um, Amherst integrated a mobile program um, with tapestry and, and kind of the wraparound services back in like 2019. Okay. Therefore, it voted on it. Before the meeting, I think it would be useful if you got some sense of what they're looking for in the month. Yeah. Because that will always be the question. You've got to have a ballpark. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So, as for other things, um, uh, Still, just like the last one, uh, education focus, I've got uh, a bunch of stuff. Like, for example, I I've already talked about it. There's It's a lot of work. I have to memorize like a book like that thick. <laughs> so, so, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot. So I am uh, focusing on that. We have an intern starting on uh, the 12th of next month who's going to, I've already mentioned this at previous, but it's coming up soon. Uh, and they're going to be uh, doing a um, risk assessment for all of our uh, restaurants and food establishments in uh, in Hadley, which will be able to help us focus on the ones that need more attention and not on the ones that are low risk. Country in the Country is coming up uh, mm -hmm. next week. Uh, we're up to date on everything. Uh, I don't see there'd be any issues. Asparagus went really well. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't have you know, any, you know, obviously little things here and there, but nothing major. I uh, no no vendors um uh, you, you know were asked to cease or anything like that. So I think since and it went smoother last year in the application process because they already knew like, we know you want this, this, and this. Mm -hmm. So they most of them said that. Um so yeah, overall it went fairly well for uh, uh for me uh as far as the inspections go. Um and then uh lastly, uh, the collaborative, I mentioned that they had done inspections the beginning part of the year. Next week, I'm going to be sitting down with them and trying to get a plan for the second half of the year for what inspections they need to do, what support we need. And uh, once once that meeting is done, then I can report at the next board to have a meeting on, on what services they're going to help us with. That's great. So, uh, that's, that's the last part of my update. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Ben. Thank you. Um, just because Dr. Moser had to take a call. Uh, number five on the agenda is the update from our assistant, Peter. Yeah, so ju just to piggyback on a couple of things that Ben mentioned, um, you know, the Asparagus Festival, so this year we had 23 food vendors. And again, as Ben mentioned, uh, they were all permitted. Uh, ben was there uh, early Saturday, Saturday morning to do the inspections. Fire was there, so on and so forth. And they were all pretty much, as Ben mentioned, pretty much in compliance, but I... Uh, just like a wave of mm -hmm. applications, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but some but yeah. some of the folks were uh, uh, you know repeat offenders, if you will. Mm -hmm. They participated last year, the year before, the year before, and not all of them were food trucks. Some of them are you know just a table with a tent kind of thing, you know, like Estelon. You know, they literally walk across the street kind of thing. So uh, it went well. Uh, country in the country again. That's coming up as Ben mentioned next Saturday. Uh, we have two, I believe, two uh, food trucks that are permitted. Uh, the third one is still uh, being reviewed or getting their paperwork in. 
and I checked uh, earlier today, last year there were only three. Yeah. So I'm sorry, I missed that. there were only three last year as okay. well. So not as big um, as asparagus. Right. And so it should be much quieter, if you will, in terms of the food inspections and fire getting involved in inspecting uh, propane tanks or whatnot. Yeah. Whether or not the music's going to be toned down again, that's that's <laughs> that's not going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, beyond that, um, you know, th things are, I think, are running uh, fairly smoothly. Uh, we're kind of at a wall right now. Um, you know, there is some activity with regards to, again, burnt tests and, um, you know, Title V and those kinds of things. So, you know, people are now on move now that the school year is ending. You know, anybody that's going to move when they have children, now's the time they're going to be doing it. So they're getting uh, their uh, standalone systems inspected and uh, so on and so forth. So we've had a few people come in with their inspection documentation and uh, their check and so on and so forth. So uh, so that's picking up a little bit, but it's not real crazy at this point. So it's uh, it's all running fairly smoothly. You know, uh, with regards to uh, permit revenue, um, we were asked, uh, Ben and I were asked probably about five or six months ago by uh, our town administrator for forecasts in terms of what we thought our revenue was going to be for this fiscal year. Um, she was in the, in the process of working with the select board at the time and the finance committee tried to put you know, the budget for fiscal 25 together. And uh, so we had projected uh, a number around $67,000 and uh, we're, we're coming in in excess of 70,000 and we, we still have, you know, whatever, two or three mm -hmm. weeks to go. Um, and uh, so activity in having is actually picking up, which is good. You know, as you may recall, last year we incrementally uh, changed some of the fees uh, upward. Uh, we're not gouging anybody yet, uh, you know, at least from our viewpoint, uh, you know, we haven't gotten that feedback. So, um, so I think financially we're, we're we're doing okay. We're kind of holding our own, and again, you know, so we, we've contributed a little bit more to the to the treasury than we did last year. So on that, I mean, it's again, summertime is not. A lot going on again, except you know a couple uh, a couple of events where again there will be food trucks, and again there is uptick right now in again perk tests and uh, Title Five inspections. Beyond that, it's kind of business as usual. So, any questions? So two years ago, the town put in the bylaw about registration registration of trailers along the river. Or is that moving smoothly with people staying? tuned in to tell you about that and having them I think that might be Jennifer's right. area. I don't that's not board of health. So does Board of Health ever get involved in things like porta potties to go there? If they would have to like we would permit the porta potty company. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Whether there's an issue with the housing code or not would have to be situation. Mm -hmm. So just add on what uh what Emma just said. So we also permit um, the the vendors that uh, do the hauling, if you will, and installation of septic systems. And some of those vendors do uh, offer um, the porta potty services, mm -hmm. but I don't think we've permitted anybody, to the best of my knowledge, in the last two or three years to start putting porta potties anywhere uh, that I recall. It's no. universal for the for the for the town, right? Um, I think you and I went over it uh, like earlier when we were looking at the budget. They they don't get a permit for a specific location. Yeah, they get a, they get an annual permit to yeah. be able to put them in. And them. does that a certain number or any number? Add add strap. Just make sure they're they're put, emptying the waste mm -hmm. where they're supposed to empty it, so on and so forth. But so long as they're doing that. And a few other things, but that's the big one. Yeah. Well, that's that's what I've done. Okay. Um, number six is an update from the town RN. Um, I know I had Marcy's email up. She, um, I know she's ex eager about some of the presentations coming up. 
Um, I closed the email, so I don't have it right now. Uh, and she was going to be adjusting her hours on Tuesdays, correct? To be her new Tuesday, Tuesday she's now started nine to three. And it's no Wednesday. Yeah. It, it's working really well. Awesome. It'll be great to hear. Um, fantastic. Uh, anything else to add? Unless you think? No, number seven is a review of the perk testing expansion. Yep. So uh, we both kind of worked on it uh, to make sure. It, so uh, I'll, I'll go first. So we're going to uh, create new uh, applications for taking it from the DPH, the one that we have right now, we're older anyways. So uh, we're going to use the state model for it and change a few things to make it Hadley. Um, and that, so what we would want to do is we'd institute that after the vote today. Uh, and we need to update the website. Mm -hmm. Uh, so two things I know of. One, Peter found is the FAQ has to get changed. I'm sorry, what has to get changed? The FAQ, like, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the fee schedule says prominently there that it's only during these certain months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so those are the only two that uh, that you know we would have to change from a visual standpoint. I think uh, both you and I, Peter, talked about maybe putting a. a, a an announcement on the page so that anybody going there can see, oh, okay, they're doing it year round now and they'll know right off the bat. So that would be a uh, good idea if it passes today. Um, and the only other thing I would say is um, uh, an effective date. So so once it, once it's, uh, it, it once it's voted on here, whether it's passed, if it's passed, then um, then yeah. we want a little bit of time to get that changed, all the you know, all of it changed out um, before it's effective. It shouldn't be too long, you know. Uh, but that's the only thing I'd say. So, so yeah. Jane, just let you know the, the way the, the, the rule is right now. You get a per test done in Halley in March, April, May. And that's it. Presumably because of ice or whatever. But again, climate change, there is no ice. So again, so what, what we've been talking about is, you know, well, let's just go year round, you know, and again, why, why, why well, stop people from, mm -hmm. from exactly. building their, their homes and whatever. So, so that, that's what we're talking about is, you know, kind of upgrade ourselves to be all year round versus, you know, confined mm -hmm. to three months. In the spring. So if you found a time when the ground was indeed frozen, how would you deal with that? So the code covers that. Mm -hmm. it, basically, you have to go below the frost layer. Right? Okay. And if you can't, if there's some reason that, that it's restrictive, to, then you wouldn't be able to do it. But uh, it, in general, you do it. In general, you could do it. Oh, okay. They do it in the winter time all around here. Yeah. So, yeah. and we know what to look for for uh, for what ground high water table leaves a mark and marks, and we yes. can see it usually. So there's there's a dragon proposed it, and uh, I don't see any reason the code is written for it. So I don't see any reason why we wouldn't do it. Uh, that's my thoughts on it. At least the board can decide as, as they want. Yeah. We should make a motion. I mean, is there a discussion that you know people want to have? I think I think the Ben's point it, it, again. What we want to do is year round, and then mm -hmm. secondly, an effective date. An effective date. So, mm -hmm. so July one or immediately, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. But again, if there are people out there that are trying to build, mm -hmm. again, we we don't want to. The town really does want to stand in your way. What is, what is the current, um, just for um, clarity, uh, what are, is the specific dates in the current bylaw? It, it's uh, March, April, May. Okay. And ending like May 31st, right? Right. Yeah. Um, so I would like to propose this going live. Um, you know, it's already... June 13th. Do, does July 1st feel like enough lead time okay. for the people doing the work with the page? Absolutely. Okay. So. All right. Um, so I'd like to make a motion to accept the updated um, health code uh, for work tests um, and have the effective July 1st of this year. Year round? Year round. All those in favor? No. Good. Thank you. So adversarial this meeting. <laughs> Do you want me to keep going for the next? Okay. Number eight, um, Board of Health website edition of the MA link for the health at home. Yeah. So I put that in. Um, I had, or maybe we all received something in our emails mm -hmm. about that. 
Um, it sounded really interesting. I put it up, and then the more I dug down, it just seemed pretty sort of standard stuff. So uh, anyway, there's a link up there. I thought it was going to get. Uh, I just thought it was probably going to get more um, specific about things. It just felt pretty generic. Anyway, it's up there on the website. So there's no nothing really to discuss about it. But I thought it would be a, a very interesting link for community. Yeah. Thank you for that. Um, number nine, any other business that could not be reasonably anticipated? None. And we should uh, include in Marcy's report that she had emailed yeah. to us in the minutes. Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. Well, I think that's a wrap. Uh, motion to adjourn. Okay. Uh, next, next meeting. Mm. Next meeting. Yeah. Uh, second Tuesday of the it's month in July. Thursday. 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 I mean Thursday. So that's the the eleventh uh, yeah, at six thirty. So I'm I'm not going to be here. I'm out of time. So all right. You, you're not going to join by Zoom. I mean I don't know. I'm I don't even, even know if we're going to have service. I think we're going to be in the Grand Canyon then. <laughs> I know when, it's gonna be great. When, okay, yeah. we're still uh yep. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that'll so be the next meeting. Okay. Yep. Let me go over there. Since the meeting's over.